On your marks, get set, go. Hi, I'm Sam and this is Matt and we will be presenting our mobile application called Lines. So uh, just to explain uh, what Lines is and uh, uh, how it works. So it's a mobile, it's fast paced scrolling puzzler uh, built using Python. So uh, you see that, that tile up there? So these are the building blocks of the game. So they're um, randomly selected and then they're strung together vertically and then they scroll up your screen and then you have, to, you have to follow the path of one line as it interweaves with four others, so it's trying to confuse you. So for example, if I was following, on this example, if I was on the farthest left, I would trace it to the second, to the second lane there and press W to update its position. So um, it will turn green if you're right, it will turn red if you're wrong. You've also got to input before it goes off the top of your screen. So you'll see this in just a moment. So this is just a quick video just to sh show uh, how the concept works. Um, hang on, let's just... Get it full screen. Whoa. Let's get it ready. Okay. So, um, yeah, you're following the central line down, and then you update it so it's just following it through as it goes like that. Uh, and then you've hit the wrong key, so it's going to go, and you go straight into uh, game over, and then you can launch right back in. Um, so, now I think we're going to do a live demo. So, um, if we could just uh, invite the current world. Uh, number one of lines, because um, they're better than me. Is that me? What? So that's not me. I'm not the. No, 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 that's not you. Uh, it is uh, Katie. So if Katie could come to the stage. Uh, so while this is rolling, I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, the graphics and the game design. So I was inspired by tube maps uh, to do this design. So you can see the, the circles look a little bit like the, uh, the stations in the tube and the curved lines as well. Uh, and uh, if you could just lose, Katie, that'd be great. Um, uh, uh, the game over is... Um, the game over is in Gil Sands, which is what they use in the underground station, so you can start again if you want. Um, and so the design of the game uh, is designed to be very quick rounds. This is slightly slowed down, so you can sort of follow what's going, but it would, it would steadily accelerate, uh, get harder, sort of really quick, addictive gameplay. Um, and I think that's the main asset of the game. Uh, and that's great, Katie. Thanks. Okay, so... Um the API we used for this game was random.org. Um, random.org takes uh, random numbers due to atmospheric noise. Um, from these numbers, we would then decide what order to put the tiles in, so it would be completely random. Uh, the user interface, so I was designed, uh, I was making the user interface, um, and it was designed to be very simple um, with black and white color scheme and vertically, vertical lines to complement the actual lines in the game. So the boxes are square with curved edges to complement the lines. Okay, uh, covered graphics quite a lot, but just to show this, so this was the first uh, revision of the leaderboards icon, but in the end I went for this design because it's a little bit more geometric and uh, like compact, uh, and you can see the tube map there. So, yeah. Uh, next thing is, uh, future changes. There were loads of things we'd have loved to add, but uh, we decided to focus on the core gameplay and the aesthetics, um, but there were a few other things we'd have loved yep. to have added. So some of the things we would have loved to add was touchscreen for the actual mobile device. Um, we didn't get round to that, so we're displaying it on computer. Um, a party mode, which is aimed to distract you as much as possible, so flashing <laughs> lights and things like that. Um, yeah, and integration with social media, so you can share your high score. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? Great. Round of applause for Lines. Fantastic. I'm never going to do any work ever again in my life, ever. <laughs> it's, uh, judges, questions, thoughts, um, ruminations, so, cogitations. So how many phones have you broken so far from testing this then due to um, frustration? <laughs> it's very frustrating, especially when you go a little bit faster. Um, so that's kind of, in a horrible way, that's kind of what we're aiming for. Um, so. And what was the high score? Uh, Katie's high score is something like 160. Oh, so. well done. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, very quickly. So, would it be possible to imprint the party mode today so we can all have a look and then put it on a link? Um, I'm sure everyone wants to play the party mode. We haven't actually done very much for the party mode. Um, we've done some of the graphics, but none of it's uh, anywhere near being coded in. So, so, if you can make it dance by the end of the day, I'd be really impressed. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's trying to bribe you with one. <laughs> yeah. Pressure from the judges. Cool. Uh, who did what um, in the team? Pardon? Who, who did what? Who was. Um, so. Uh, I did quite a lot of the, the overall aesthetic design and some of the game design. And um, Sam? Yeah, I did the user interface, which you just saw. Yep. With the, yeah. Is it just you two? Was there no? Uh, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was us two. Okay, so you, you programmed the user interface? Yes. Cool. Any more for any more? Good. That's it. I think we're good. Thank you very much indeed. Lines, thank you. Thank you.